I can't believe it's 25 years since we made Jurassic Park, but they tell me it is, so I'll believe them. How'd you do this? Michael Crichton figured out how to bring dinosaurs back to life in the 20th century, and he did it through science. It changed my life, and I think it changed his. And that was the beginning of evolving Jurassic Park into a film. Welcome to Jurassic Park. But the moment that brought this home for me as a filmmaker was when the T-Rex started to attack two modern Ford Explorers. And you saw the modern world and you saw the prehistoric world meeting up 65 million years later. To me, that's when I really felt we had captured lightning in a bubble. Boy, do I hate being right all the time. I think the one thing that the Jurassic Park series does have in common are they are created by filmmakers who love the craft of filmmaking. Like the last movie that Colin Trevorrow directed. It's very rare uh, in the history of both a filmmaker and a studio to have something that connects with audiences in the way that Jurassic Park did. We did take very seriously the idea that we needed to reintroduce it to a new generation. So we focused on making something that was fun and a kind of roller coaster ride that we loved when we were kids. And to see people have the reaction that they did was really satisfying. Jurassic World was a celebration of something that we all love. This new movie is different. This movie is pushing something that we know forward into the future. We were blessed that J.A. brought his voice to our series. Fallen Kingdom from the very beginning is a very different Jurassic story. It's not about people rescuing people anymore. It's about people rescuing dinosaurs. The whole movie is about empathy and empathy towards the dinosaurs. Easy, girl. I told Stephen that the heart of the story is about Blue. Come with me. You know you can't stay here. One of the main inspirations was the very first Jurassic Park in terms of the space. It induces the island, introduces white spaces, also explosions and hundreds of dinosaurs. And as the movie moves forward, it gets more claustrophobic. It's full of long corridors in this kind of like gothic mansion of secret doors, secret passages. And I think it takes the saga into a whole new level. Jay did an amazing job through his craft in being able to make a movie a little bit like the first movie I directed, but he found a way to make it his own Jurassic World. And it just brought me way back to the very beginning.